The decision has been made. Racing is over at Churchill Downs for the rest of this spring meet. It'll pick up this weekend at Ellis Park. WDRB's Darby Bean and Eric Crawford join us now to explain why this is happening and what's next. Hey guys. Hey Fallon, we were at Churchill Downs backside earlier today, and even though the racing is at a halt there, the training is still going on. Today we saw some horses in their stalls, some were walking around, some were getting a bath. And we want you to listen to what trainer Dale Romans had to say about the rest of this meet moving over to Ellis Park. Well, I think everybody's a little bit down. You know, it's, uh, this is the uh, crown jewel meet of Kentucky, and for us to have to cut it short is, I mean, it's something I never thought I would see in my life. So now we're bringing in our in-house expert, Eric Crawford. Eric, thanks for being here. Um, you can break down what's going on here. I know a lot of the talk has been about the track itself. Yeah, and, and really there's been a lot of investigation of the track itself and they found nothing wrong with it, which makes all of this even more mysterious. Churchill checks it all the time. The HISA, the Horse Racing Integrity and Safety Authority, brings in its own experts. They checked it, found nothing. So. For that reason, a lot of people are questioning why is this happening, and it's a legitimate question. And a lot of this is probably public relations. A lot of it is about about the optics of horse racing, and they don't want any more bad things to happen at Churchill Downs till they have a better handle on what exactly is going on. Even if people can't watch these at Churchill Downs, they can still go to Ellis Park to watch the races. It's about two hours away in Henderson, Kentucky. So what should people expect, though, as far as horses? Oh. Will there be that many traveling? And the purses there, too. Well, the purses don't change. Churchill just moves its racing operation from a financial standpoint on over to Ellis, which it already owns. But there is a question of how many horses, what kind of field sizes are we going to have? A lot of Trainers who are based here will just keep their horses there on the backside at Churchill. They'll van their horses to Ellis to race and bring them back when the race is over. Churchill is working on a way to help them out financially to do that, whether that's providing horse vans, whether it's giving them a stipend for travel, but they want to try and help it make it as painless as they can, even though it's a bad situation. One of the trainers we talked to out there today was Greg Foley. He said he's not afraid to train his horses at Churchill. As far as running at Ellis, I'm, that, that's fine, but at this time of year, this is racing time at Churchill, you know, you, you, you'd sure love to be right here and walk your horses out of your barn and, and run them over at, you know, a few hundred yards away. But, uh, you know, we, we got to do what we got to do. And Eric, I also want to ask you what you have learned about the horse death so far, because you said it, that you, there's nothing from the track that they can tell at this point. Yeah, we're getting slowly uh, trickling in the results of some necropsies that are performed on all these horses that die on the track. There's nothing that they found yet from a medication standpoint that's caused it. There really has been nothing structural in any of the three that we've gotten back now that, that has indicated why, why this happened. They can't find anything on the track. We'll keep looking. We'll get all 12 and take a look at them. But a lot of people are looking a lot smarter than I am, and they've found nothing just yet. Well, 12 horse deaths in about 30 days out there at Churchill Downs. I know you've been following this. We'll continue to follow this and bring you the latest. So thank you, Eric. Thanks. Our thanks to both Eric and Darby for that interview.